A warm welcome to everyone. Myself Sri Vidya, working as assistant professor in King's College of Engineering, Punalkulam. In this section, we are going to see about what is gradient and a special consideration for hill roads. First, let me see what is gradient. Simply, we can say gradient is the rate of rise or fall or a ramp or it may be a inclined surface. So, the vehicle speed, acceleration, deceleration, stopping distance, side distance and comfort in vehicle movements at high speed depends upon the vertical alignment. The construction cost and vehicle operational cost depends upon the gradient. The picture shows the gradient which was constructed in the road surface. The rate of rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal is called a grade or a gradient. In other words, it is the longitudinal slope provided to the formation level of road along its alignment. The gradient can be mathematically expressed as 1 in n. 1 is vertical and n is horizontal. Take an example from the picture. Horizontal distance is 1000 meter and a vertical distance is 25 meter from the definition we can write as 25 is to 1000 uh, by applying in this gradient formula we get 1 is to 40 or we can write it as 1 in 40 next we see factors on which gradients depends on it depends on nature of traffic, nature of ground, rainfall of the locality. First we see what is nature of traffic. Steeper gradients are very inconvenient to the slow moving traffic. Hence, deciding upon the gradient to be provided, the nature of traffic will have to be taken into account. Road only meant for slow moving vehicles such as bullock cart etc. must not have a steep gradient. Next, the second one, nature of gradient. The amount of gradient to be provided is directly related to the nature of the ground. Road with steep undulation will have steep gradient as it is sometimes not possible to provide unnecessary deep excavations or cuttings. Next see the third one, rainfall of the locality. The gradient in a road are mainly provided to drain off rainwater from the side drains as quickly as possible. Hence more the rainfall, steeper gradient will have to be provided in the gr side grind and as well as in the road. Next let me see what are the types of gradients. As per IRC, Indian Road Congress, the gradients has six different types. They are as follows. First one, ruling gradient. Next, limiting gradient. The third one is exceptional gradient and minimum gradient. The fifth one is average gradient and the last one is floating gradient. Next, let me see one by one. The first one is ruling gradient. The gradient usually adopted while making the road alignment is called the ruling alignment. It is the maximum gradient within the designer attempts to design the vertical profile of a road. It is also known as a design gradient. It mainly depends on the type of terrain, length of grade, speed, pulling power of vehicles, presence of horizontal curves and the mixed traffic. So the second gradient is limiting gradient. The gradient steeper than ruling gradient which may be used for the limited road length is called limiting gradient or a maximum gradient. This type of gradient minimizes the cost of road construction. It mainly depends upon the topography and the cost in constructing the road. Next the third gradient is exceptional gradient. The gradient or very steeper than limiting gradient may be used in short length of road only in extraordinary situation is called exceptional gradient. This type of gradient is adopted only in very difficult situation and for a short length not exceeding 100 meter at a stretch. Next the fourth one is minimum gradient. The minimum Desirable slope essential for effective drainage of rainwater from the road surface is called a minimum drainage. The desirable minimum gradient for this purpose is 0.5% if the side drains are lined and 1% if the side drains are unlined. 
a minimum of 1 in 500 may be sufficient for concrete drain and 1 in 200 for open drain soils. Next we see what is average gradient. It is the ratio of total rise or fall to the horizontal distance between any two points along the alignment of the road. Next one is floating gradient. The gradient on which a motor vehicle moving with the constant speed continues to descend with the same speed without any application of power is called a floating gradient. The table shows the value of gradient which was recommended by IRC that is Indian Road Congress. For plain and ruling terrain, the ruling gradient may be 1 in 30 or 3.3 percentage. For limiting gradient, 1 in 20 or 5 percentage. For exceptional gradient, 1 in 15 or 6.7 percentage. For mountainous terrain, the ruling gradient may be 1 in 20 or 5 percentage. For limiting gradient, 1 in 16.7 or 6 percentage. For exceptional gradient, 1 in 14.3 or 7 percentage. Next, for steep terrain, the ruling gradient may be 1 in 16.7 or 6 percentage. For limiting gradient, 1 in 14.3 or 7 percentage. For exceptional gradient, 1 in 12.5 or 8 percentage. These are the values for the following gradient which was recommended by the Indian Road Congress that is IRC. Next, let me see what is grade compensation. As per IRC, when a road has both horizontal curve and gradient together, then there will be increased resistance to fracture force due to both horizontal curve and gradient. This reduction in gradient is known as compensation. IRC gave the following specification for the grade compensation. They are as follows. Grade compensation is not required for grades flatter than 4% because the loss of tractive force is negligible. Grade compensation is 30 plus R divided by R in percentage where R is the radius of the horizontal curve in meters. The maximum grade compensation is limited to 75 R percentage. Next, let me see what are the factors which affecting the gradients. They are as the type of road surface, the drainage required, the nature of the ground, nature of the traffic, safety required, road and railway interaction, bridge approaches, the total height to be covered. Next, let me see what are the advantages of gradient. It allows running of the vehicle at high speed on a curved path as on the straight path without any danger of collision. It provides more or less even distribution of load on wheels and hence uniform stress is offered on the foundation. It also helps to keep the vehicles to their proper side on the pavement and thus prevents collision of vehicles. It provides drainage of the whole width of the road towards the inner side. Thus, there is no necessity of providing further drainage system. Next, these are the disadvantages in gradient. An increase in heavier vehicles and speed can cause accidents on the slope due to poor sight lines. Exceptional gradients can significantly rise fuel consumption and friction losses. These losses lead to further increases in fuel consumption and emission that increase motor vehicles environmental cost. More friction losses will be occur. The efficiency of engine can be reduced. More wear and tear to the pavement surface and vehicle too. So we have learned what is gradient and type of gradient so far. Hope you all understand. Thank you everyone.